Today we're going to work on the control system on a 10,000 horsepower top fuel dragster. As I'm tearing this thing apart, McKenna Haas stopped by. She's a sprint car driver with USAC series. Now onto the control systems. There's a lot more to this than what I'm just showing you here. Behind this cone, there is a ton of shit back here, which I'll show you a little later. Stacked inside of here is the command module, accumulator for the clutch, the clutch controller, all valve regulator, over here, pushback air regulator, some timers, and the safety air valves. My old buddy Larry Dixon stopped by, so I went ahead and had him bless this thing. Being as this bucket is a cluster, I'm gonna build a new one. You know, over time, as you add something, take something away, or what have you, it ends up looking like shit over time. I put this off far too long, so it's time to get this thing reorganized. This is just some of the crap I'm gonna need to get this project done. Thank you all for watching and follow along as we clean this damn mess up. Part two on our control system cleanup for this 10,000 horsepower engine. So after time, after you install one of these systems, you know, you add this, take away that, and pretty soon it's just, it just looks like a rat's nest. Now keep in mind, there's airlines in here, there's hydraulic system, there's electronics, there's starting switches, you name it, it's in here. Generally how I do it is, on my airlines, I use colored zip ties. That way, if you're in a rush about something, it's pretty simple. You just kind of idiot proof it. Put the damn colors together, that's where it goes. On the electrical stuff, I'll use a label maker. I'll mark each side of the connection, and then uh, usually take some clear heat shrink or something like that. So I did a time lapse on this thing. So you guys always bitch about, uh, where's my next video, all that. So if I would have uh, you know, stretched this thing out, I could have made five videos out of this whole thing. So the clutch controls are out of this thing. I might as well go over this stuff and show you guys how it works. I think we'll do that in this next video. Okay, here's the clutch system in 60 seconds. This here is the pressure plate. There's 18 fingers in this thing. Six of them are primaries, 12 of them are secondaries. This bearing holds back those 12 secondary levers. Now during the run, this bearing starts to move back and that's what allows these other levers to get into play. Keep in mind, all this shit happens in about three seconds. Now here's that bearing attached to a snoozle. It goes in the cannon. This is the hydraulic cylinder that holds it back. This Clifford valve is operated by the throttle pedal. He stomps the pedal, air goes through this, lands here at this pressure switch, which and then sends a signal over to the command module, which starts the timer sequence. The module then sends the command to the control valves. These knobs on top is what controls the amount of flow for each one of these segments. The bearing starts in the out position and it's holding back all those 12 secondary levers. The bearing goes back, the cannon fluid goes through the management system in a controlled amount, and then is in the accumulator. So when the bearing goes back, it adds more clutch,